There are four main hotspots in a construction site, where erosion should be carefully managed. The main location is within the areas of earthwork activities. Every location where construction disturbs existing plants, soil, and rocks is a hotspot location for erosion. Another key location is at the stockpile of materials. Whether loose material is being stored for future use or has just been dug out from excavation operations, the loose soil and the steep banks of the stockpiles make these locations susceptible to wind and water erosion. Storage of construction materials and equipment is another hotspot susceptible to erosion and contamination. Careless handling of construction materials or fuels on site, fertilizers, trace metals, and hydrocarbons can seep into the ground. In addition, when storm events occur, runoff may carry contaminated soils away from the construction site to become a source of downstream pollution. Designated locations for the maintenance and handling of construction vehicles are also areas that need to be managed carefully. Washing construction equipment such as the washout from concrete mixers can easily be dispersed through the site and contribute to erosion, sediment loading, and pollution if not managed properly. Other hotspot locations occur at the interfaces between construction sites and the adjacent land. These interfaces can be easily identified as the construction site entrances and exits, as well as the overall perimeter of the construction site. Construction exits and entrances should be monitored for soil tracking by construction vehicles, which, if not managed properly, can easily track loose soil and pollutants outside the construction site. The perimeter of the construction site is the last interface between the construction activities and the neighboring land. Care should be exercised to prevent erosion and contamination from entering neighboring properties, especially if environmental sensitive areas are within close proximity to the construction site. Areas like wetlands and fish habitats might require considerable time to recover following construction projects. To allow for recovery, activities should include establishing vegetation on disturbed areas to reduce the sediment entering downstream waters during and after grading activities occur. Care should also be taken to avoid excessive application of chemicals that could find their way into runoff from the site. Once the flow of sediment and pollutants is reduced, spawning beds can recover and the danger of fish suffocation is reduced. In essence, less erosion means less sediment in runoff waters. Therefore, good erosion control means good sediment control. Reducing the amount of sediment in runoff water means there will be fewer pollutants carried downstream from their source.